Hi everybody, Bones here, Alternative Energies Lab, back yet again. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Uh, obviously, by putting more electrolyte in the cell, made my uh, PWM work that much harder. And the end result was I never had the chance to change my capacitor. Uh, All I had was a uh, uh, 2,200 microfarad capacitor. Well... Driving down the street at 70 miles an hour, it decided to say, eh, enough is enough, I can't take no more, I'm out. And on I-40, it exploded. <laughs> so, um, not not as bad as I've had them do in the past. So, I, I actually got out extremely lucky with this one. Uh, it just, just blew and smoked a lot and kept everything intact. So, I was really happy about that. As soon as it blew, I knew what it was. So, um... But I, got, I was very fortunate that it didn't blow up or make a mess inside the PWM. Not pretty. It doesn't look as good as pretty as zeros. But it's functional and it's working. So uh, we'll leave a go at that for now. Um, last chance for the cell. If this cell doesn't work, I'm going to build a new one. Uh, I, I showed you in a previous video how I had cleaned this off. For some reason... My acrylic didn't seal with the bottom, so um, I actually I, I do interior trim and custom cabinets and custom staircasing. So we have this glue, this epoxy that we use on staircases, and the stuff's like fifteen dollars for a tube of it. So it's a uh, epoxy adhesive. I mean, like I said, this stuff isn't cheap, um, and it's a really really good epoxy. This particular stuff is a 30 minute work time, but it takes about 24 hours for it to cure. So I finished this about one o'clock in the morning yesterday. Um, and again, it's dry to the touch. Um, you can feel it just of being a little bit tacky, but you can almost see that it's still kind of yellowish looking. Once it's dry, it'll be as clear as this acrylic. That's the way I'll know it's dry. So I'm gonna have to hold out maybe, but another day before I can uh, actually put the cell together and put it back in my uh, service truck. Um, one more thing, I'm probably going to have to break this video up uh, because of the time, but uh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Can you see that? No, it's not a xylophone. They're, these are my plates, and these are the plates the same way that they were taken out of the off the stack. This is my original stainless steel stack plate. I mean, when I say original, this is the first one I've built seven, eight months ago. So that's the original, the original plates. These are the ones that I've been running in the van for two and a half hours each way, each day. So um, they, needless to say, have a lot of hours, a lot of hours on them. Some of you will already know this, um, some of you may not, so hopefully I can help you out a little bit there. Again, this is the, this is the way it is. See how dark that is? See the, how, how dark it is? This is the center plate. This is, a, this is the negative. Okay, see how dark it is? It's dark on both sides. Now, what I thought was interesting was, now, this is the next one in line going towards the positive so this would be the positive side here now I thought it was pretty interesting look at the negative side it's black so that was facing the negative plate that was facing the positive plate and that goes all the way down the line it goes all the way down the line so that would be so as you can see here so that was negative and it sat on top of this one like this Okay, so it sat up there like this, and then this one here sat on top of it, okay, positive side facing out. Well, look at the other side, black. Now, we know that our HHO comes from the negative side of our plates. So, but it, all mu it must also collect the impurities. The negative side is like the, like the sponge of the, of the cell collecting all the impurities in the water, the impurities of the steel. So, 
you know, so I guess if you wanted to look at it as a magnet, this would be your repelling side, and this would be, you know, the side that would actually absorb it. So, um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Not that there's any importance in it. I just thought it was pretty interesting. Um, and again, it's just, I mean, it's not a discolored. It's just, now that they're dry, it's just a powder. So, you know, you'll, you'll notice this more if you use a, like a baking soda base or something similar. Um, uh, you know, I run uh, KOH2 in ours, you know, potassium hydroxide. I have both. I have the sodium hydroxide and I have the uh, potassium hydroxide. I haven't used uh, the sodium yet. We, I, had just par I had just got it a couple days ago and I wasn't really ready to switch everything out. And I'm having really good luck with the potassium hydroxide, so I'm going to probably stick with the potassium hydroxide. Uh, but I thought that was pretty interesting. I just wanted you to see that. Um, so this is my original nine-plate system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add four more plates to this. But I'm not going to add any more electroplates. I'm not adding any more uh, towers to it. Um, we have the 15-plate uh, unit right here this is my 15 plate unit it's quite the unit here this one's gonna go in the in my service van actually I think this is more than 15 plates one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen plates I'm sorry this is a 17 plates that's what's in this one this one's going in my dually this is going in my truck my, my uh, big truck um, in my test unit that I haven't run for a while, it sets up on the up on the shelf up there. You've seen this one in the past videos before, the one that looks like Batman back there in the corner. Uh, that's got 11 plates in it, and I got really good results out of 11 plates. So I'm gonna try um, 13 plates and see what happens. Uh, again, I don't want to drop uh, below two volts per plate, so I'm gonna have to sit down and do the math on that. Uh, or 1.5 volts on, per plate spacing. Um, but see if I can just cut my heat down a little bit more. Really, really, really happy with the uh, results we've got. I've got them, I believe I went over them last time in the last video. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes around. But I'm just trying to keep you guys up to date. I'm going to build this new, put these new plates together. Um, it's Sunday. I had to work yesterday. So my... My better half has got a whole list of things for me to do, so I'll, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and cut these plates, clean them up right quick, and assemble this thing and get it ready to go before she uh, snags me out of the lab here and takes her with me. So, um, But we'll see what we're doing and uh, I'll get it all back together again. I'll keep you up to date on how the progress is. So I appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh, you know, tell your friends about them. Uh, subscribe to our web to our uh, to our uh, YouTube page here and uh, comment. Let me you know. Give me your comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, and I appreciate your time. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.